Oh my, a tidal shift is currently happening in the realms of artificial intelligence as OpenAI, the reason essentially why AI is even a topic of discussion right now, and the company still at the bleeding edge of artificial intelligence development, might simply just disappear. A worse, or better yet, depending upon your point of view, the entire company's staff might transfer over to Microsoft, which would fundamentally transform the entire AI scene overnight. How the hell did this happen? Well, um... <laughs> It's an interesting story, ironically. So the OpenAI staff right now has launched this petition, or well, threat more correctly, towards their own board members, demanding that the entire board resign and replace themselves with the previously ousted CEOs of the company, in large parts due to the ousting of aforementioned CEOs, or the employees will simply walk out the door and join previous CEO Sam Altman at Microsoft where he is uh, currently uh, having apparently an open door policy. Any and all open AI employees that wish to join him have been assured that there will be jobs ready and waiting for them at Microsoft. Wow, um, somebody's about to make one hell of a coup here, aren't they? We'll get to that in a second, but what has happened here is that the board first outed the two previous CEO, which was Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. They were very, 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 very popular with the employees, clearly, and the board has continued to make apparently very, very bad decisions that the employees disagree with tremendously. And considering they've elected to hire a former Twitch chief, <laughs> yeah, that, that does sound as if the board is doing some really ridiculous shit. Hell, turning the entirety of your staff against you alone seems like a rather absurd decision. Even Indeed, the board even, was it here? Um, here was it, yes. The best interest of the company. You also informed the leadership team that allowing the company to be destroyed would be consistent with the mission. So that is the board saying that, apparently. Jesus, okay. Um, the board is saying that destroying the company would be consistent with the mission of OpenAI. Now, the mission statement, incidentally, was OpenAI is a research and AI development company. Our mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. And that was a laudable notion, absolutely. A laudable notion that was probably a little bit too good to be true, as now in all due likelihood, uh, all of it's going to be moving on over onto, uh, under Microsoft's umbrella. As obviously this is also an enormous deal for Microsoft, who sees their stock take a massive upswing. Because, well, that's the thing. Microsoft has already invested rather heavily into artificial intelligence. They were building their own development department, costing billions of dollars. But of course, they were starting out at the starting line. They would have to find all of the talent, they would need to organize it, they would begin to produce, uh, need to begin to produce the model from the ground up. They were essentially years and years behind the current leading edge. But now, all of a sudden, they might very well be able to simply just take that entire leading edge and repurpose it into a Microsoft product. Uh, small wonder that the stocks are taking an enormous upswing, as this might leave Microsoft with a, well, not monopoly of course, but uh, a de facto massive advantage over any and all composition. Uh, competition, not composition. Imagine this, for example, being used to aid out Bing. Uh, Bing has been a uh, non too successful search engine for the longest time, having been brutally outcompeted by virtually everything and developing a very negative reputation on the internet. However, give it access to the open AI team's technology, their understanding, and their general skills, suddenly you might have your very first revolutionary AI web browser. Hell, people are already using things like ChatGPT as a de facto web browser. If you were to make an actual full-scale tool out of it, it would be massive. Not to mention the countless applications for AI, of course, within a company as large as Microsoft, possessing as many things as they do. Hell, the game development branch alone could benefit tremendously for this. Microsoft could potentially become the revolution in AI. 
Previously, there was supposed to be a, you know, startup company, or a startup startup, but at the very least, an ideologically motivated one that wanted to have general AI uh, be for the masses themselves. This is one of the reasons why Elon Musk also invested quite a lot of money into the company, along with several others many who might be regretting their investments right now. <laughs> and boy, again, I, I gotta say here, the, the sheer scope and scale of the potential win here for Microsoft cannot be overstated, and the potential sheer scale of the loss for the rest of us cannot be overstated either. I've stated on multiple occasions that one of the worst things that could happen is if AI became an exclusive tool of the corporations and well, kinda here we maybe uh, uh, are. <laughs> this also does make my conspiracy brain throb ever so slightly right here. So, what you're telling me is that the board of directors of OpenAI decided to make a series of really, really unfathomably bad decisions. One after the other. And even when the point arrived where the employees were like, stop or we will walk they're still considering pushing forward. Bearing in mind they haven't actually, you know, made good on the threat yet, as this is very much so breaking news, but any sensible board should never have let it come to this place in the first place. And if they, through some ridiculous series of circumstances, actually push this one step further, handing the entirety of OpenAI in essence over to Microsoft, well, I'd be keeping a close eye on whether or not those board members gain lucrative roles in Microsoft companies shortly thereafter. What if they have um, long and studied histories within various Microsoft subsidiaries? <laughs> I just, you know, I'm not making any, any allegations here or anything. All I'm saying is, um, I have seen less suspicious circumstances in my time. <laughs> You know what? If, if this actually was planned, then applause. This this might actually be one of the biggest steals in human history. <laughs> this, this will be the subject of movies in the future if it happens to be the case. Man, um... Again, what more is there to say? Uh, an enormous win, potentially, for Microsoft. And, well, to be fair, Sam Altman and the previous CEOs, they seem to have been a lot of the root for this idea that general AI should be for the benefit of humanity first rather than the corporations. It might very well be that to entice them to join Microsoft, Microsoft has given them more or less free reigns with very um, generous contracts, shall we say, allowing them to determine a great deal of their work environment and how their labor will actually be used. Maybe they will continue to protect this ideal Maybe they will not. Regardless, the idea of the open AI, which again was supposed to be a democratization of AI and could have opened up a whole slew of incredible opportunities for everyone falling in the hands of one of the largest corporations on Earth. Oh boy, um, it's very difficult to be optimistic about that. Um, very, very, very difficult indeed. And it is even more difficult not to see a couple of strings in the background here as well. We might still hope, though, that the board will reverse course. Maybe this will simply be a sort of resurgence of open AI. And it is also an argument that can be made here that the genie is already out of the bottle. With the sheer quantity of new companies starting up and beginning to try and make AI technology and the relative open source nature of a lot of that technology, we might simply have moved beyond the point where we need individual companies or even massive corporations like Microsoft to lead the way. Perhaps the AI revolution has already happened, we just haven't seen it yet. Or, um, Perhaps this was the moment at which it could have happened, and the Dark Ages instead is elected to fully enforce its presence upon the world. Oh well. I for one welcome our new AI overlords and pray that Skynet will be accepting collaborators in the future. Until next time, I've been Art, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I do hope you'll leave some comments in the comment section down below. I'm not even going to ask you to show up next time. 
prioritize the comments here, okay? Because this is a massive thing. I'd really like to see what everyone's thinking about it. And now, I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.